Hi good people from all around the world, this is Nick and welcome back to Valheim. In today's video I'm going to be showing an update from Iron Gate Studios uh, that has improved gardening or farming a lot. Now I have this big, big, giant, long stretch of barley farm. I'm going to speed it up to show you it all. And here we are at the end, guys. Now, as you can imagine, farming all this barley takes a long time. And um, normally when you farm each one, you get uh, two. Now, you can use the hammer or any the ad gear to uh, farm more of these at once, but then you have to replant them, and it takes a long time, right? But, um, so each of those took two, as you guys can see. We got four now. So if we go to the main menu, there's a new feature called World Modifiers. And basically, with World Modifiers, you, there's uh, many things you can change about how the world is. But there's one that, uh, can, that I'm going to show you. It can do um, resource rate. You can make basically resources. All, pretty much any resource in the game that you get, you can make it three times as much. And uh, what you can do for the whole game if you want, but I, I only recommend it for gardening and I'm going to explain later on in the video why. But this helps a lot. So this helps out a lot. Um, as you guys saw before, there was two barley that came up and now we get six. So basically you can get all your gardening or farming done with one third of the space and in one third of the time. So rather like say for example I'd have to get all this right to get the barley that I would want. I would only have to do one third of this. And this helps a lot. Uh, farming for resources for, for plants is one of my least favorite parts of the game. Some people might say that this is cheating or you're robbing yourself of the journey. And I do agree with the philosophy that the journey can often be as important or more important than the destination. But... I think farming is one of the rare exceptions with Valheim, and I'll use an example to illustrate. Alright, so let's say for other resource gathering, say you wanted to extend your rock wall perimeter to, to expand your base, and so you wanted to go to the mountains to get the rock, because that's one of the good ways to get a bunch of rocks, to go to the mountains, and so you head over there, right? So you go to the mountain to get rocks for to expand your wall, right? But across along the way, you're um, coming across enemies. You're getting skills in combat. You're getting skills in pickaxe. Maybe while you're mining the the mountain itself, you accidentally make a funny face out of the mountain itself, and you decide I want to keep it because it's funny. It makes me laugh. You come across all these different enemies and you get resources that you never would have got if you were just trying to get rock itself and it, do the three times um, itself so you get this whole adventure this whole journey and this whole time around you is beautiful environment it's amazing and majestic and beautiful and it's a it's amazing and you're have you're you're going on this grand adventure getting all these resources and that you would normally wouldn't get if you're doing the three times world modifier you would not have as many of these adventures maybe you stumble across like an ice cave or something and I think this is why gardening is one of the few resources in the resource gathering events in the game that just doesn't really add to the fun of the game at all because you don't you don't get any skills you don't really go on an adventure it's just you and the farm there you don't get there's no farming skill um, the background around you can be beautiful and everything, but you don't really go on an adventure when you're farming. It's just you and the dirt and you're planting, and it's not fun. It's kind of tedious. Um, and so that's just to sort of illustrate my point, and that's why I say that uh, gardening or farming is one of the few resource gathering things where I would say it's okay to do three times uh, world modifier, and then you can go exit out after you're done. And then, and then put it at, at back to normal. And it helps a lot because, like I said, there's no, nothing really fun about farming. It's, it's boring. You don't really go on an adventure like you do when you're getting rocks or anything else. It's just, it doesn't really, it's not really fun. You, even if you did get a skill for farming, it still wouldn't be all that fun. Um, so I think Valheim with this update, with the Hilder's Request update, has helped 
put the control in the players' hands and, and how they want to play the game and how, how much fun it is. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. And uh, bye, everybody. Oh, I'm also going to put some more tips in the end here for links for other tips of Valheim. So if you guys want to check those out, you can. And I hope you all have a good day. Bye, everybody.